Welcome back guys to a brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Steven. I'm so excited to be here with you guys because today we are doing Baby Dragon Mirror Clone versus Arena 1. Now this troll was suggested by Murd. Shout out to you dude. Go ahead and follow his Twitter. The link will be in the description down below. But anyways guys, if you do have any great decks or card suggestions that you do want me to troll with and you want to be featured, all you have to do is one, leave a like on this video and two, go down into the comment section and type out what deck or card you want to see me troll with in the next Clash Royale drop trolling video. And also guys, don't forget to join my Discord chat. Yes, I do have an official Discord chat for the Cancer Clash Club, which is my clan in Clash Royale. So if you guys do want to join, the link will be in the description down below, so go ahead and check that out. But anyways, it is that time of the year again. Yes, Christmas is just around the corner, and me and a few other YouTubers are also doing a huge Clash Royale giveaway for Christmas. And if you guys do want to join that, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and turn on push notifications then just go into the description it should be the first link in there it's a gleam.io link and it'll bring you to this page where you can subscribe to me and a bunch of other youtubers the more people you do subscribe to the more entries you will have into winning the giveaway so pretty much good luck to everyone who enters and enjoy the video anyways guys we're in our first battle of the day good luck to you man level four player uh, let's see what he does first because I kind of want him to drop something. I don't really want to fight any AFK players. So he's going to drop a knight. I pretty much predicted that. As you can see, I dropped the log before the knight did go down. Or probably at the same time. I don't really know. But if you like kind of put that in slow motion, you can decide for yourself. Did I drop the log before the knight was actually dropped by my opponent? Or did I drop it before? Anyways... I'm just going to try to get as many elixir collectors as I can on the arena as of right now. So he is going to just like spam spells at my collectors I think. Like that's what he's doing with his arrows at least. And if he does have a fireball he could end up taking out most of my collectors. So he does have a giant. I'm just going to defend with my level 5 baby dragon right here. So he has a musketeer in the back. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the log right here. Get that giant out of the way. All right. We countered the musketeer and the knight. Let's go ahead and zap that right there. Good game. Well played, man. He's still trying, to be honest, which is pretty great. Like, I love it when these guys actually fight back. But, like, the only thing I don't want him to do is actually fireball my elixir collectors. Anyways, Baby Dragon is going to do some massive damage to his tower. Level 5, super tanky. Already bringing it down to 622 HP. He's going to continue fireballing and arrowing my collectors. So I'm just going to give him an angry face right here. Anyways, we should take the win pretty soon right now. We just need uh, a few more pumps down and then we'll start the baby dragon push once double elixir does arrive. Anyways, let's go ahead and burn the rage card right here. We need to take out that giant pretty quickly. The musketeer is doing a lot of damage to my baby dragon, but it shouldn't have that much trouble taking it out. Okay, the musketeer actually ended up beating the baby dragon in a 1v1 duel. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? It's already double elixir. Let's just start up a baby dragon push in the back. All right, let's get another one down right here. We'll go ahead and rage up all our collectors. Let's see how many we can get down. Hopefully, we can get down like eight or more. That's what I'm hoping for in this battle. Anyways, let's go ahead and zap that king tower. We do need to cycle through a bit more. Let's get our third baby dragon down along with our fourth one now we just need to quickly cycle back to the mirror spell because we can mirror clone all those down and i think we could get at least 12 or maybe a bit more than that so let's go ahead we'll drop the clone spell right here come on let's get another clone spell down before the tower does go down okay not bad we ended up getting 10 baby dragons down but if he did defend a bit better with like some ground troops after that giant tide we probably could have gotten like 15 down because we didn't really have a chance to drop that clone spell. Kind of because my baby dragons did end up melting the tower so quickly. Anyways, we'll just hop into a few more battles, you know, try to get our crown chest up. And soon after December, I'll probably start pushing back up to Legendary Arena because there should be some new cards releasing. And I really don't want to miss out on those. Like if I do fail the new card challenges, like pushing back up is pretty much my only option. We're up against a level 7 player, so this guy's probably a trophy dropper, to be honest. Like, if he doesn't start pushing my towers, I'm just going to let him have the victory right here. 
So I don't know if this guy is trophy dropping or not, but we'll see. He probably just wants to push back up or something, or maybe he wants to troll around. Like, he's obviously not going to push back up because he just threw that golem barrel with the skeleton army. So I I'm just going to assume he's just trolling around. So we'll have some fun too. Anyways, we'll just cycle through some more baby dragons. He is going to have some elixir collectors of his own, but I can't really take out those because I don't have, like, the fireball or anything. Like, all the cards I have are just... Pretty much zaps and logs and the log can't even reach to the back of his tower so you know what we'll just push with some baby dragons get some more of our collectors going he does have goblin huts pretty much everywhere which is going to be pretty annoying for us because we can't really defend against swarm decks that do have spawners in them i guess but they barely do any damage he also has a rocket which is going to be pretty hard for us if he does end up defending correctly but i doubt it because his deck is mostly just swarm to be honest and my baby dragon does do a pretty good amount of splash damage to be able to counter his whole entire pushes anyways we'll get his tower down to probably zero hp nope it's gonna stay at 98 how unfortunate you know what <laughs> we'll just cycle through a bit more uh i'll just log out that tower to be honest like i don't really have any other methods of taking that down right now but he does have a skeleton army in which we'll just go ahead and zap that 21 HP left on that tower. High value log right here. Taking out that tower, skeleton army, and dealing humongous damage to that witch. So we'll just start up a baby dragon push right here. It's already double elixir. Let's see how many baby dragons we can get on the arena at the same time. So this guy, he's pushing with the poison spell, the witch, and the skeleton army. So really weird deck this guy has. Like it's unorthodox, especially for like most uh arena seven players i guess or level seven players i guess they're in like arena seven or six but i don't know this guy is obviously just drop trolling playing around with a swarmy deck with a rocket as well so this is going to be pretty interesting he did end up taking one of my towers but i do have both of his and his king tower is pretty low right now so all to do is push up with a few more baby dragons and we should just be able to take the victory right here so he also has a witch on that side like i gotta really defend my right uh left side towers because my right's already down and if he does end up taking two he's probably gonna win but you know what my baby dragons i didn't even notice them they do so much damage i kind of really underestimated the baby dragons most of the time because when i play baby dragons they pretty much don't do any damage because it's higher arenas they're not meant to do a lot of damage but when you just have a bunch of them grouped up they do massive amount of damage especially to these low level towers and it's not just like baby dragons aren't good or anything like that it's the fact that i played or i started playing competitive when baby dragons weren't that strong and they kind of got like busts later on along the way so i kind of still think of baby dragons as a pretty underpowered card Alright boys, let's do one more battle for today and we'll try to get some more baby dragons down. Let's try to break the record of 10 we did get in the first battle. We're up against Theo, level 2 player, man. Good luck to you. Uh, we do have the Elixir Collector in our first cycle. Boy, this guy doesn't know what he's in for. Let's go ahead and just drop that in the back. He does have a baby dragon and musketeer. I'm just going to go ahead and zap that. Drop the log right here. Goblins are gonna go down right when they drop. Baby Dragon's just gonna get melted by my tower, so I'm gonna give him a well played for this. Let's go ahead and rage up our towers and collectors right here. No, to cycle through some more collectors as Double Elixir does come soon. That's when we'll start dropping our baby dragons, obviously. Let's go ahead, get some more collectors in the back. This guy doesn't really seem to be the type that is fireballing my pumps, so that's pretty good for us. Like, we're going to have as many elixir collectors as we can on the arena with pretty much no damage coming for them unless I do screw up and, like, put them in the middle or something. All right, boys, we're getting some good damage off of his left side tower just with one baby dragon. He's just not really defending any of my pushes. I was actually going to burn the log right there, but you know what? The log ended up taking out his archers, which is going to be great for us. Let's just drop some more baby dragons. All right, get some more chip off that tower. We should be able to get a one crown right about now, and we'll start the baby dragon mirror clone on his right side tower. So once we do get the clone spells down, we could, uh, I guess, protect the clone spells from the damage of the king tower so they don't end up dying. 
I just screwed up on that pump placement, but it's okay. I don't think the Musketeer is going to get any damage off either. We do have a really good cycle right now. Only 20 seconds until double elixir and we do have five collectors down already. So that's going to be great for us. We just need to cycle through a bit more. Let me just drop this one right here. We'll go ahead and zap out all of his troops. We don't want him to get any chip on that collector. I accidentally, I guess, messed up on the placement. Uh, let's go ahead and rage up all of this right here. He does have a skeleton army. Come on, I gotta log out this. Alright, one is gonna get a few hits off my tower. Let's go drop some more collectors in the back. We got the baby dragon up. We're just gonna go ahead drop it right here as soon as we hit 10 elixir let's go ahead and drop another one all right we got the clone spell up let's go rage right there log cycle through a few more cards and get down another baby dragon one is gonna die but i didn't really have the intention of putting that one with the rest of my baby dragons let's just settle for four baby dragons i guess and try to get as many as we can down come on we just got a clone right now or we're not going to be able to clone at all because we did cycle a bit too late i didn't really have the chance to place down the mirror clone as soon as we did get down the baby dragons but you know what anyways good game well played these baby dragons they do do a lot of damage too much for me to get like i guess more than 10 baby dragons on the arena at the same time but anyways if you guys did enjoy today's clash royale baby dragon mirror clone trolling arena one be sure to leave a like down below. Every like is much appreciated. Let's try to hit 300 likes on today's video, guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications. It honestly does help out. And I'll see you guys in the next Clash Royale video. Have a good one. Peace.